Hello everyone, welcome to all of you to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about the derivation of long run marginal cost curve LMC and this long run marginal cost curve is derived with the help of long run average cost curve and in our previous video we have already discussed how to derive the long run average cost curve that is LAC and now I am going to draw uh, LAC with the help of three short run average cost curves and this has already been discussed in detail in our previous video here we have LAC okay and there are three short run average cost curve SAC1, SAC2 and SAC3 the SAC2 will be tangent to the LSE at the lowest point of LSE and the lowest point of LSE is E okay so here we will draw SAC2 like this SAC2 now here we will draw SAC1 SAC1 will tangent LSE at the falling portion so this is SAC1 and it is tangent to the LSE at the falling portion at point A and the minimum point of SAC1 is P okay and now here we will draw SAC3 which will be tangent to the LSE at the rising portion okay SAC3 so this SAC3 is tangent to the LSE at the rising portion at point C and the minimum point of this SAC3 is R ok so here we have drawn long run average cost curve LSE with the help of SSE1, SSE2 and SSE3 and we know the relationship between average cost and marginal cost that we have already discussed in our previous video in short when the average cost declines marginal cost will lie below the average cost and at the minimum point of average cost the marginal cost will be equal to average cost and when average cost increases the marginal cost will lie above the average cost so in this way since there are three short run average cost curve there will be three short run marginal cost curves SMC1, SMC2 and SMC3 and the minimum point of SAC1 is P so we will draw SMC1 that will cut the SAC1 at its minimum point P it is SMC1 and the minimum point of SSC2 is E so here we have SMC2 SMC2 and the minimum point of SSC3 is R so here we will draw SMC3 SMC3 now after drawing the three short run marginal cost curves SMC1, SMC2 and SMC3 now we have to draw the perpendicular line on the x axis from the tangency point of SAC and LAC ok so here we have three SAC so we will draw three perpendicular line on x axis first one is point A point A is the tangency of SAC1 and LAC from here we will draw a perpendicular line on x axis that is OQ1 ok and secondly the tangency point of SAC2 with the LAC is E from here we will draw a perpendicular line on x axis that is EQ and the third one tangency point is C that SAC3 is tangent to the LSE at point C and from here we will draw perpendicular line on x axis 
that will be CQ2 and this perpendicular line CQ2 we will draw this line above the LSE till it will touch the SMC3 so this perpendicular line will go up to here up to the point yes so here at AS point this perpendicular line will touch SMC3 now the AQ1 perpendicular line cuts SMC1 at point T and here AQ perpendicular line cuts SMC2 at point E and this perpendicular line yes Q2 will tangent SMC3 at point yes so this T point E point and yes point we have to now join these three points T E and yes in such a way that it will take the form of U shape okay so here we are going to plot the line by cutting point the T so here we are going to plot a curve that is U shaped and that line will go through the point T E and S this T now it will take the form of U shape that here it will cut the E point and now it will go up to point S and it will be here it will go L M C so this line is U shaped it is the minimum point and when it starts increasing it will cut the LSE at the minimum point E and thereafter it will go and it will cut S point and this curve will be LMC long run marginal cost curve so this is the way that we can draw the long run marginal cost curves okay with this I would like to request all of you to like and share my videos as well as subscribe my channel thank you